Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Estefania and my channel's name is called Rustic Olive. In today's video, we are going to be speaking about Delta of Venus from Aaron Parfums today. Um, just a little bit of background. I did make notes this time because I want to make sure I want to hit everything that I want to talk about. So I went to Dallas, um, Texas, like, I don't know, like two, three weeks ago. Uh, and I went to the scent room out there. It was a brief, like, walk. I was with a coworker. I didn't have too much time to really, like, explore everything. We kind of had to get back to a meeting. So it was kind of like one of those, like, I was there, but not really. So I did get to sniff this one and a bunch of others that uh, the really nice girl at the store was kind of pulling out for me. And I wanted to buy this one, but we really had to go. So I felt kind of bad that I just kind of left this pending. But I was out there, I posted it like briefly on my Instagram, but then like some weird stuff happened, so I had to delete it. Anyways, um, but yeah, Delta Venus, this was a love at first sniff for me out there. And yeah, I couldn't buy it <laughs> when I was out there. So I purchased it on LuckyScent.com when I got back. I already knew I wanted it. Like it was a love at first sniff. There was like no way I was not going to buy it. Um, so I'm just going to read the notes off of the thing, like the official notes. I know we can all look them up, but I'm going to go through what I usually do. So I'm going to read you the notes, what it smells like to me, what it reminds me of, etc. So the official notes are grapefruit, bergamot, violet leaf, jasmine. It has a guava accord, galbanum, vetiver, and sandalwood. Once again, a lot of these things don't mean a lot because, okay, it can have a bunch of notes listed, but which one's the one that comes out the most in this baby's case it smells tropical as heck and it smells tropical fresh fruity if you like guayaba if you are from the caribbean south america from mexico and you like guayaba i really think you're gonna like this one so this one reminded me of a perfume that i actually ended up selling to my friend and if you like that perfume i am almost 100 percent sure if you were to blind buy or this one it's because you like the other one so the one that it reminded me of and if you're gonna say no you're wrong i'm probably wrong i'm not saying it's a dupe i'm saying it reminded me of it it's L'Imperatrice from Dolce & Gabbana. So like that big pink bottle with the black cap. I forgot the number on it. Anyways, it reminds me, it, immediately it reminded me of that. But that other one has like a sour undertone to it, which I just couldn't grow to like. This one, however, is really nice. This one was bright. It is definitely, I feel like this one's great for like, outdoor events i think it's great for like cocktail day outside like brunch outside like outside keyword outside it is loud at first spray it does mellow down as the day goes um i have been wearing this somewhat a lot you can kind of see the little mini day you can't really see it because of the black part right there but um it does mellow down a lot like at the very very end of the day the dry down is like very soft and it's funny i literally just read the notes today i hadn't even looked at the notes up until now and i was gonna say i feel like it's very kind of almost creamy at the very very end of it and sandalwood i mean it has a softness to it in the very late dry down I am very happy with this perfume. It is somewhat green, so it's not like sticky, sticky, sweet or anything like that. I really think it's like if you want to blind buy it, like I guarantee you if you don't like it, maybe someone else in your family will. Once again, like if you grew up eating guayaba, like I really think you're going to like this. Um, side story, um, ever since I was like really, really little, my mom would send me to Mexico every December. So all my December's pretty much like Christmas and New Year's were spent out there for weeks and that's the time of year out there where like the guayaba start getting ripe they start making it in ponche caliente which is like basically a tea with nuts caña sugar cane guayaba like a bunch of different fruits so it's kind of like fruity a little bit spicy and you drink it hot so i think this perfume would be good for spring and summer obviously but i even think like for fall just because it has that guayaba in there and i tended to eat that during 
winter technically in Mexico, but it was still warm out there. Like it was still in the 70s and 80s. So anyways, I still think this would be pretty much year round appropriate, but mostly for spring, summer and typical fall, if that makes sense. What else? So yeah, I already talked about what it smells like to me. The pros. Okay. It is very long lasting. Like if the other perfume I mentioned earlier from Dolce & Gabbana, it, that one fades away quick. Like that was an other toilette. It did not last on me. There was a lot of negative things about that perfume and that's why I kind of sold it. My friend loved it. Good for her. It didn't work for me. So this one's in a parfum concentration, so it has more oil. It does last much longer. It is very loud in the beginning. It will stay with you throughout the entire day. And at the end, it does fade really beautifully and creamy and lovely. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's perfect for summer, spring, fall, etc. I really think it goes well for the outdoors. I spray maybe like one, two, three, four, five times and it last and it's very, very strong. It lasts all day. Um it's also one that I I'd say it's good for transferring to the gym. I don't recommend buying a perfume for the gym because then that scent gets associated with sweat and towels and you know what I mean? Metal. We, I don't want that. So I like to say like this is a good perfume to transfer into the gym. So like if you're wearing this like and you went to the gym later at night, it would work out fine because it's not anything crazy. It's not anything heavy. It's really nice. The one con I do have to say about this and I'm not too, it's not the biggest deal because it's not the fragrance itself. It's actually the packaging. I am not a fan of the packaging and it, like this is what it came in. It's just a box like this um, and it just kind of, oops, wrong way. It just slips in like that. The other part I'm not too happy about either is like this it's kind of like sticker like you can kind of see the back seam right here where it's stuck together i'm just not a fan of that because i like things to be long lasting it's a bit crooked not a big deal once again but i think it retailed for like 150 dollars or something like that which is okay it's kind of similar to say i don't know designer perfume you know it's not a big deal but i do have to mention that i'm not the biggest fan of the packaging i end up throwing the boxes away anyways but it just kind of doesn't give it the full presentation that this fragrance deserves because it is really good. So those are my quick thoughts on this fragrance. Um, we made it to a thousand subscribers, you guys. I am very happy about that. Thank you so much. I remember when I only had 25 and I was like, who wants to watch me? Why are these people even watching me? But anyways, here we are a thousand subscribers later. Thank you so much. And I appreciate every single one of you. And thank you. Bye.